Hello, and welcome to Nelnet. You're watching this as part of the remote or work at home workforce. Before your first day, you will receive several items of equipment from Nelnet. I show them here. You may have a different variation of each piece of equipment shown in this video. If you have something that looks different, that is okay. As long as you have some variation of each item, you are on your way to a successful start. You should receive two monitors and their associated power and display port cables. Your iGel device should come in a box like this. Your iGel device is your actual computer. Here's your iGel and its power supply. You will also receive a wired keyboard, a wired headset, a webcam, a wired mouse, a power strip so that everything can be plugged in together, and a 25 foot ethernet cable. If a 25 foot ethernet cable is not long enough to reach between your work area and your home router, please let your trainer know or contact the help desk so that we can get you a longer ethernet cable. This is critical because your iGel device is not Wi-Fi capable. One core component that Nelnet does not provide is a high-speed internet connection and a router. Your router may look something like this and be provided by your internet service provider, or it may look something like this, which you would have purchased yourself or anything in between. Now, let's get everything set up. First, you'll want to find a clean and comfortable place to work. Make sure you are near an outlet. As you can see, this cable isn't very long. I like to get both of my monitors set up so I know where I will be comfortable working. The first thing you'll want to do is set up your monitor stands. The base slots into the stem, and you can just hand tighten the screw. The mount on the stand will click into the back of the monitor. It's easiest if you lay your monitor down flat, slide in the mount, and you should hear an audible click. You should not be able to pull the stand off without first pressing the release button. I find it is easiest to get your cables plugged in when your monitor is turned sideways. The first one you'll want to grab is your power cable. To help keep your cables organized, slide this through the base of the stand and plug this into the three prong port at the bottom back of your screen. Next, you'll grab your display port cable. You can see that it has a D on it. You'll slide this through the back of the stand as well. And plug into the display port. Make sure that both cables are in snugly, or you may notice your computer screen blinking off and on while you're working. Plug the power cable for your monitor into your power strip. I personally find it easiest to plug everything in together and then plug the power strip into the wall. Once your monitors are set up, we'll get our iGel device. This particular model of iGel has four total USB ports. Two in the front, and two in the back, along with two display ports, its power port, 
and an Ethernet port. These are the only ports that you will need to use for your work at home setup. The rest of the ports can be ignored. Once you have your monitor set up, you'll plug in the power cable for the iGel device into the back of the iGel. Next, plug in your Ethernet cable, mount your webcam to the top of the monitor, and plug the webcam into the back of the iGel device. Next, plug your headset into the back of the device. Turn your iGel around and plug in your keyboard into one of the front USB ports. Finally, you'll plug your mouse into the last USB port on the front of the iGel. Remember, you may not receive identical items to what is shown in this video. Also, you will set this up as you feel most comfortable. This is just an example. If your iGel device does not turn on automatically, tap your finger on the power symbol. This is not a traditional power button. It will not depress and you will not hear a click. Simply tap the power symbol. You'll see the blue light come on and a short while later, you'll hear a loud beep. This beep indicates the iGel device is booting up.